Hi everyone, it's Dawn Marie with Flowersome Herbal Massage. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to walk you through three asanas specific for opening the hips. Go ahead and take easy pose. We'll just settle into our seat bones first. Gently lay your hands either facing down on the knees or you can bring them palms facing up. Have a soft gaze or you can gently close your eyes. Always at the start of your practice, bring your awareness to your breath. It's the best way to kind of settle and ground and really become much more connected with your body and your time on your mat here today. Inhalations, extending out through the crown chakra and exhale, releasing, emptying it all out. Inhaling, we rise, we open through the chest and exhale, release all tension in the body. down to your side. One more time, we'll inhale to rise the arms up, palms touch, gaze at the thumbs, and exhale, releasing. Lay down and settle onto your back. Legs go out long. Arms out to your side. Take a moment here to bring your awareness back to your breath. Using your breath to settle into the mat. On your next inhale, we'll bring the right knee to chest. And hug in as close as you can. You might need to take a hold of, of the, the front of the knee or to the shin, wherever you're at. It might look a little more like this for you. Bring it in as close as you can. And just kind of do a few pulses here. Activating the fluids in the hip joint. And then we're gonna come out for an external rotation on this right leg. And then think about doing little, like it's like little circles. And pump a few times in between. See what feels good for you. The further you can come out on this external rotation with this right foot flexed, still engaged, the deeper you can get into some of those adductor muscles and that hip joint. Bring in the knee, coming out to the side and circling a few more times on this right side. Hug the knee to chest. Extend the right leg out long. Other side, left knee to chest. Give it a few pumps. Activating the left side. And external rotation circling on this left side, opening that left hip. And pumping and 
circling out. Left knee to the chest, give it one last hug, and release the left leg to meet the right leg. Settling into your mat, bringing your awareness back to your breath for a few cycles here. Deep inhalations and exhalations. Bring both knees to chest, give them a squeeze, and roll up. Or gently go to your right side and come up. We'll meet back at the center of our mat in easy pose, allowing your knees to come as close to the mat as possible. Sitting up tall, sitting up strong through the spine, strong yet still relaxed. Roll the shoulders down away from your ears. Bring the soles of your feet together. Baddha and gently drop the knees. Now, the closer you get the heel to the pelvic bone, the more this intensifies and the further you come out with your knees. So it might look like this for you or it might look something more like this. The point is we still wanna be focusing on getting that external rotation of the hips to help open the hips. So whatever it looks like for you, wherever your body's at today, accept where you're at today. Accept where your body's at. And be grateful that you're joining me on your mat today for this gentle hip opening. Feel the soles of the feet away, hinging and leading with the chest. We'll come into a fold. Don't curve and lead with the third eye or the head. You want to lead from the chest, hinging from the hips, opening those muscles and attachment points. Inhale to rise. Take the legs out long, maybe give them a shake out. Pigeon. I'll give a modification of pigeon. We're going to start with our right leg. So the one thing that I like to tell my students is you always want to have the flexion and engagement in the forward foot. So it's going to be, we're going to start on our right side. So you want to have this foot flexed and engaged. It's almost like the shin bone becomes parallel um, to the front of your mat. Now this is not available for everyone to then be able to kick that left, swing that left leg back. Stacking and squaring off the hips to the front of your mat. This is not available for everyone. So one modification is the closer you bring your heel to your groin, the easier this becomes. Even for me, I can settle a little bit deeper into this pigeon. Still staying engaged. The other modification is if you need to take, you might need to take this left leg and bring it out slightly to a 40, 45, 45 <laughs> degree angle. Sorry about that. 
and you'll notice that you kind of shift off to your right side. So you want to still try to come up using your hands possibly. So this is the modif another modification, but you still want to keep those hips stacked and squared to the front of your mat. Again, wherever you're at, just accept where you're at. One side is always easier than the other. And again here, we'll hinge from the hips, leading with the chest, coming down onto maybe the mat. Might look a little bit more like you have to come onto your forearms. All of this is perfectly acceptable. No judgment. Remembering your breath here, nice deep inhalations and exhalations. Inhale to rise. Into tabletop. We'll switch to the left side. So left leg comes up front. Remember again here to make any modifications if you need to bring that left heel closer to, to your pelvic bone, go ahead and do that. If you need to bend that right leg to a 45, take whatever modification you need. Again, accepting exactly where you're at today, no judgment, just be grateful that you're showing up today, showing up for yourself. to hold this for just a bit and gently leading with the chest bowing surrendering into this deep hip opener allowing your breath to ease any tension you might feel in the muscles more cycles of breath here. Inhale, we rise. Really slowly and gently, taking your time to come into easy pose. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope those few hip openers were helpful. Let me know what you what else you might want to see? This is a personal request from a dear friend here in Durango. She wanted some hip openers. So those are kind of the few that I recommend for um, my clients. And I personally love those asanas. Have a great day. Namaste.